It's the biggest art heist in history, and authorities are hoping you may provide a new lead in the case. The most mysterious case in history. Without a trace, the audacious $1.9 billion heist happened right in front of guards' eyes. This previously baffling situation has been clarified. The most notorious art thief in history. The investigator had a hard time wrapping their head around the fact that a single person could have stolen artwork with a value of $1.9 billion using such simple tools. A screwdriver with a Phillips head, an antenna, and a coat with a loose fit. These were the tools that Stefan Breitweiser used to steal artworks and perform the most audacious $1.9 billion heist in front of guards' eyes. How was it that he was able to accomplish all of this with such few tools? The story follows Frenchman Stefan Breitweiser. Stefan and his girlfriend Anne Catherine visited this town to view a medieval castle. This fort was named Greer Castle after its creator. It now houses a museum of Middle Ages artifacts. This castle had enormous halls and passageways with just paintings. These chambers were huge. Stefan stopped to admire a painting as he and his girlfriend wandered the halls. Christian Bale, Hans Dietrich created this painting. It depicted a formal dressed woman staring through the canvas at the viewer. Stefan, suddenly wanting to take this painting, shot into action and got to work. Despite never stealing before, he was driven to steal. To cover his tracks, he told Catherine to keep a lookout for the guards. Stefan and Catherine were so successful that they went on to do such heists many times over. Like before, Catherine followed Stefan into the museum and began observing the vacant corridors and displays. The museum they attended wasn't busy, so security was lax. The security had no cameras or electronic equipment. Stefan destroyed a large framed picture while Catherine guarded the hallways. He unpacked, folded, and hid the artwork in his heavy jacket before sneaking out of the palace with Catherine. The most successful art thief in history was set up by their simple steal. Stefan's feelings about the art theft intensified. He had always enjoyed looking at beautiful paintings, but owning one was different. A lifelong memory. This led Stefan to steal more art. He visited exhibitions worldwide. He burglarized 240 art galleries in seven countries around Europe, using the same method over and over. They were never caught. Stefan's professionalism? How could he consistently complete such difficult tasks? These missions were as simple as the first and he recruited his longtime partner Catherine to help him patrol the corridors. Can a significant security breach be tolerated? This case hinged on Stefan's victim selection. Because huge institutions have 24-hour security, Stefan would have been caught quickly if he robbed them. He focused on lesser-known and less secure galleries and institutions. Stefan simply used a screwdriver to take the paintings from their frames, an extended antenna to distract the security cameras, and a big jacket to hide the paintings after folding them. His self-confidence and ability to stay calm under pressure were crucial to the venture's success and made his contributions the most valuable. He often stole from the same art gallery or museum because of his remarkable self-confidence. He hides behind a mustache or beard and does the same crime in the same place. He exuded confidence, allowing him to always avoid the attention of the guards. The New York Times values the total collection of the stolen paintings at $1.9 billion. Despite this fact, Stefan did not appear wealthy or successful. He was stumbling through life, not excelling. He worked as a waiter while his girlfriend Catherine was a nurse. Imagine living in Stefan's mother's attic. They couldn't even afford a decent place to live. Why did they live in such filth when he stole so much valuable artworks? That's all because Stefan never tried to sell the stolen art. He didn't want to sell the paintings because he found them beautiful and wanted to look at them himself. Due to their artistry, he took them without authorization. To commemorate his first theft, Stefan stole the artwork of a woman he met because of its beauty and the painting's artistic excellence. After that, he exclusively stole art he admired or found amazing, regardless of its value. He only stole exceptional art without ever trying to sell it. Though unusual, Stefan used this to his advantage as an art thief. He benefited greatly. The authorities may have failed to catch him because most art thieves are caught fast. One of the main reasons Stefan was never arrested, despite committing hundreds of crimes, is because criminals are easy to track down once they start selling stolen goods. Stefan also struggled with creative avarice, a separate issue. He constantly sought new art to add to his collection. But the next time Stefan and Catherine would go out on a heist, things were about to take a turn for the worst. They entered the museum, identified a painting as the target, and began their routine. 
Stefan removed the painting from its frame while Catherine kept watch. After unscrewing the frame, Stefan pulled out the artwork, folded it, and put it in the huge coat as usual, then calmly and confidently headed to the museum door. One guard observed Stefan hiding something beneath his coat as they left the museum. After feeling suspicious, the guard took a quick tour of the gallery and found a missing painting. He chased Stefan and Catherine out of the museum and to their car. Before the automobile started to drive, the security officer stopped them and prevented Stefan from escaping. Because a police station was nearby and several cops were present, Stefan had no alternative but to submit to the authorities. Stefan was in police custody awaiting trial. The next day's trial was brief because Stefan's offense was minor and the painting he stole was not valuable. Stefan cried and apologized in court. He said this was the first time he had done anything like this and that it was a fleeting choice prompted by a peculiar desire to acquire a painting. He was remorseful and had no criminal record. These grounds prompted the judge to release him without a severe sentence. Stefan was ordered to leave Switzerland immediately and not return until his eight-month supervision period expires. Stefan continued stealing in European countries. Stefan returned to Switzerland in 2001 after four years, feeling that the robbery attempt had been forgotten. He and his girlfriend Catherine flew to Switzerland and went to the same city where he was detained four years earlier, but the operation was not in the museum. In this second museum, Stefan saw an old antique trumpet in a glass showcase that was harder to take. He stole the trumpet again under his coat and left the museum without incident. Stefan was overconfident and arrogant. Two days later, he disguised himself and stole another piece of art from the same museum. He entered boldly with Catherine and focused on the picture. Catherine began her normal chore of studying the passages and he began removing the picture from its frame. He hid the picture under his coat as usual but was surrounded by guards. One guard knew his face from the operation two days prior, causing his disguise to fail and Stefan to get arrested yet again. Stefan tried to play the same card as last time and told police that it was just a momentary tendency to steal and that he regretted everything else. But this time, the excuse was weak because he stole the trumpet first and then the board. To their surprise, his flat was empty of paintings and artwork. How did the artworks disappear? Well, Catherine, Stefan's girlfriend at the time of his arrest, instantly called his mother to tell her that he had been detained and to hide all the stolen paintings and artworks immediately. The mother swiftly removed all the apartment's art. She torched part of it and flung the remainder into the municipal canal. Catherine was also arrested for six months. His mother was imprisoned for 15 months for destroying the artwork. After prison, Catherine abandoned Stefan. She was done with him. Stefan's mother never contacted him again. Stefan had rough years after prison. He was impoverished, alone, and depressed. Stefan wrote Confessions of an Art Thief to make money, but it flopped commercially. Stefan resolved to steal artworks again, but this time to sell them and make money. Be sure to subscribe and turn on post notification to be the first to know when the next post is up. He was detained in 2011 while trying to sell a stolen painting, and they found over 30 others in his flat. He was detained again and sentenced to three years in prison. After his release, he was detained again in 2019 for trying to sell antiquities on eBay, probably stolen before his arrest. Stefan became silent after his 2019 arrest. However, Stefan Breitweiser immortalizes his name as the greatest art thief in history, and no one will likely ever challenge him to that title. The end result of this was that he continued to commit thefts without ever having established a definitive stopping point for his actions. He was finally caught after 16 years of thefts due to carelessness and planning to steal from the same museum twice in a short period. His mother and girlfriend destroyed the evidence after his first arrest, which hindered police investigation. Recovered paintings from a canal led police to identify him as a serial thief responsible for over 170 art thefts. He was sentenced to three years in prison and struggled financially after release. This didn't last long as he tried to sell paintings after release, but was arrested again, and this time was given a longer prison sentence. Shocking revelations of the behind the scenes at Masterful Crimes no one was supposed to know. Click on the next video to find out more.